What's up guys, hope you guys have all been well and staying safe. In one of my past videos, I mentioned that I would talk about water resistances and water ratings, how they're measured, just the basic information you need to know about it so that way you know what you can do with your watch and its water rating. It's actually very simple and I think I'll be able to cover everything in under three minutes. So what does water resistance even mean? It's a common misconception that the depth that's listed on your watch is the literal depth that your watch can go underwater, which is completely wrong. Don't do that, don't follow that number. You're gonna destroy your watch if you do that. So what the water resistance literally means is, the static pressure at which the watch can resist ingress, which is the entering of water. It's typically measured by a leakage test and it's usually measured in atmospheres, bars, or equivalent water depth, which is the number that you usually see on the watch. The conversion from meters to bars is roughly divided by 10. I think it's like 9.8, but for all intents and purposes, it's 10. Get it? All intents and purposes. <laughs> Okay, so bars and atmospheres are basically interchangeable. So now that the basic nerd stuff is out of the way, we can talk about what you can actually do with different water resistances on your watches. So number one, 30 meters. So this literally means that your watch is only splash resistant. So that means I would even be careful taking it in the shower and I wouldn't even wash my hands with it. So there you go, you have an excuse as to why you're only washing your hands once a week. That's gross. 50 meters. You should be okay to shower with the watch now. Your watch should be able to survive brief dips in water. Personally, just me, I wouldn't do either because I find 50 meters are still a very weak water resistance. So definitely minimize your underwater time. Just know a couple splashes here and there should be okay. 100 meters. So once you hit this rating, water starts to no longer become a concern. You're good to shower with it. You're good to swim with it. You're good to dunk it underwater. Really all you can't do is go underwater diving. 200 meters. So practically speaking, the same as 100 meters. You can shower, you can swim, you can go for moderate dives with it. Just don't go professional diving just yet. 300 meters and beyond. So at this point, you're in full on dive I've watched territory, so water is literally no concern like at all, ever. All these watches are typically very tough, very resistant to shock, very resistant to magnetism, typically. They'll for sure not have a problem under very long exposure in deep diving conditions. But speaking of that, we're gonna move on to what's called an ISO rating, which is also an important thing to know when we're talking about water ratings. ISO 6425 rated watches. So this is an official diving watch certification issued by the International Standardization Organization, I believe it's called. This rating is only given to dive watches. It's a big basically much more rigid set of standards the watch has to live up to like condensation, temperature changes, even some shock changes. And you, you're basically being given a guarantee an actual certification that this watch can handle whatever it is that standard is being tested for exactly. Now these ratings, they go on and on and on and on. There's like a million things that these watches have to have to go through just to get these kind of ratings. So I'll leave a link down below if you're interested and that way you can look up for yourself what the different ISO ratings typically mean and what your watch can actually handle on paper. There's quite a few. The most modern, like I said, is the ISO 6425, but it's, it'll be in the description below if you're interested. Just know that if your watch does have an ISO rating, it's typically as tough as they come. There you have it. That was a very easy guide to water resistances. I hope it'll help some of you avoid destroying your nice watches. If it has, let me know down below. If it hasn't, you already knew this information, then let me know down below how you knew this information. There it is, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe.